Hello, here's Lauri, and we are playing the last chapter of Friend Bo. <laughs> and last time I laughed so hard because of this music and this picture. Yeah, and today we find out what we have to do next. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Uh, I guess that's the high checker then. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Ah, this is the lady we took the needle from. Where is my knitting needle, huh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? Uh, no. What? Knitting needle? Ah, you the... That nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum. Do I look that to you, huh? You little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay. Um, yeah. Seven. <laughs> Let's take a number. I hope I get a good one. They listen, they see, and they touch. Uh, okay. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Oh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days. I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. And I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Ahem, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My heart eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please. Let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? It's very strange. Hey! Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. Oh, wrong voice. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We don't understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. No, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Huh, alright. Thank you for nothing. Sees everything, okay? We know someone that sees everything. This must be the number display. Okay, there are four. We don't know... Let's go 
maybe this is the one or the two. I don't know. Uh, we go to somewhere that sees everything. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside the cage. Okay, that is not happening. She knows everything. Mm. But we need someone that is seeing everything. Mm. Uh, just take a number and wait for your turn. Mm. A broken eye. He just feels sick. He has a broken horn. And she is not scaring herself anymore. Uh, um. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. possible to exchange our tickets? Mm, that is not too convenient for me. I'm sorry, but no. Can I take more? I already took a number. Okay. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our ticket? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay. Would it be possible to exchange our ticket? Not really, no. I'm not interested. Okay, so we have a clue. We need to find out what kind of illness he has. Mm. Nice to see you again. Did you find your cat already? Not yet, but I'm not giving up. See you. Okay. Hmm. How to find out what kind of illness he has? Wait. Could it be that we can call... The rooms? Okay. No. Guess not. Is not helping. Are you helping? You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? And I say the same thing every time. I don't know what to tell other things. My soap is my life. Give me back my soap. Oh, I have hygiene problems. That is why I need my soap. Give it back to me. <laughs> Can you please wake up again, Rebecca? I guess not. I won't even try that.
I'm cool, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is gone so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty. Mr. Midnight's hug is all the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Etherstra and be happy. Mm, lovely pain, so profound. <coughs> the bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now, time does not wait for anybody. Thank you, I'll be going now, goodbye. Okay. Then uh, we try to get our ticket. Here, drink this. You will feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Ha ha ha, how lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I help you. All right, all right, there you go. Okay. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Okay, so now we have the two. possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Uh? No? I have number two. Number two, we're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have any appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. <coughs> I'm sorry. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though, many lose their mind and sad. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Ah, oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. <laughs> but why I must call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Oh, 
All right. I go and make the call then. Yeah. True life history. How to make an appointment with doctors. <laughs> Uh. Ah, okay, she's holding it. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm, it's friend Bo. Aham, uh -huh. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. See you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes. <laughs> this is so stupid somehow. <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes. Grandpa is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes. There you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Um. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Yeah. Yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> oh. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remo, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remo, the terrible black prince of the darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping of your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Darling, who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. Monster wants to trick me. I know everybody is crazy around here. 
I have to find Kitty and leave. A tank with water. Good. Why is this good? I don't know. The spine. All humans have that in common. <laughs> we would look so funny without skin. Uh. Why does the brain have two sides? The brain has many different parts. Kitty! My darling! I'm here for you! Are you alright? Kitty, answer me! What's wrong with you? Don't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. Th this isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll talk to you. I'll take you to Thurston, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Deer now, right? He seems to be in trouble. A syringe. It has a red fluid inside. What can it be? I don't need this. Somebody must be really fond of brains and hearts. X-rays. This must be Dr. Deer's hand. Oh no, Dr. Oswald. Shall we? No. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. Dr. Deer, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up! Please, Dr. Deer, wake up! Are you alive, sir? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? This will wake him up. No, oh, dumb. What was that? Don't worry, Doctor Dean. It's me, friend. Ah, uh, what? I can see very well. Friend Bowser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Friend, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you there. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. <coughs> all right. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. But I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? Oh, lovely. You sound lost just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Oh, gosh. Of course, Clara and Mia. The two girls that hate each other so much. And they both have a mark on their faces. Oh. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Oh. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? 
Yes, of course. Dreamer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Dreamer all the time. But why does he hunt me? Dreamer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, then. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! No! Kitty! Come on, friend. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! Oh, I hate you! Stop it, friend! Help! Help! Please, help! Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she is still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Friend, are you all right? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend, Doctor Dion. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Ah! Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I need work, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectopro, ectoprote, palantras monakaist. Gorska, need work, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Must be cured. Do you think you 
can use the same body. Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Natalia Figo Yeah, yes. Natalia directed it with me. Natalia had a lot of to do there. Wow, graphics also by Natalia. She worked hard. Isaac Martinson. Natalia again. They were only two people? Only two people created the game. Wow. Egg Yeah, and uh, there was something wrong. Localization, German translations. Rainbird LP. Us. Uh -huh. I don't know Rainbird LP, I have to look it up. Olga, Raphael, Kill Monday Games, <coughs> The Beta Squad, <laughs> Beta Testers. Yeah, what can I say about the game? Um, a journey. <laughs> And in the end, Fran was taken by darkness. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to say too much about it, because everyone has to think on their own what they 
take with them everyone that has been part of the development journey as a backer, emotional supporter, fan art artist, YouTuber, reviewer, and to you who believe in us. Yeah. Indiegogo. <laughs> Everyone takes something with them out of the game, I guess. It was fun, sometimes really hard. Um, I was scared in the beginning, but they managed it that in the weirdness and the obscurity of the game, they made more and more fun into it. So the story the game itself is not letting you behind with bad feelings, what is really interesting. Yeah, and that it was. That was friend Bo. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And the next time... I already know what I will play next. It will also be a horror game. Um, I don't know a lot of it yet. But I hope you watch and I hope you enjoy. And thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye.